talking to spirits, laughing with ghosts. Listen, today we're going to do pick a card reading for the month of July. See what we have ahead of us. All right, June has been, it's been a little testy month. All right, so with July coming in, um, I'm pretty excited for this month. I feel like there's going to be a lot of big changes, um, a lot of breakthroughs. So I'm excited for July. So as always, guys, this is going to be group one. This is group two and group three. All right, so use your intuition. If you need to pause this video to meditate on it, please do, okay? Pick your guys' group and we'll see what is happening for July for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna set three and two up here. And we're gonna start with group one. Okay, we have the three of wands. We have the judgment card. We have the 10 of wands. Make sure this is all on the camera. There you go appreciation, the Y card, deep knowing, and the angel card is signs from heaven. Okay, so with the three of wands coming into play here, okay, this is, you could be, you know, working with um, another person, maybe a collab, something like that. Or something isn't coming out in your favor. Maybe you are working with them already and you're just kind of over it. This is expansion on something. But you guys have the judgment card that comes out as well. Okay, next to it. So there's going to be a final decision that's made here. Maybe if you have an offer that is, um, you know, coming towards you. Or maybe somebody wants to collab with you. Or maybe you're thinking of a new job or something to that, right? There is going to be a final decision, okay? It's going to be a wake-up call for you coming in July, guys. Um, you have the Ten of Wands that follows right behind this, and the Ten of Wands is saying, listen, you're stressed out, that you're exhausted, you have too many things going on, so I feel like um, Group 1, you guys are really going to maybe get it together and kind of push some things out um, and make some more time to focus on other projects maybe that you guys are working on or even maybe making time for yourself, right? You have the Goddess of the Moon. Okay, so you're a very strong person. Um, I feel like, you know, you guys should maybe meditate by the moon um, and do your moon meditations, things like that. Manifesting, setting your intentions. Um, you're very strong. You're very capable of getting whatever it is that you want accomplished. All right. You also have the appreciation card, okay? So maybe you're not feeling appreciated. Maybe you're doing too many things for others and you don't feel appreciated. And I think that this could maybe be where you are kind of um, weeding out maybe some people in your life um, that could be using you or that aren't serving your highest purpose. You also have the why card. Maybe you're questioning a lot of things, okay? But you do know what has to be done in this situation. So you have the why card. You also have deep knowing, so you guys already know what needs to be done. I feel like maybe you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or maybe you're being taken advantage of and you guys are going to move on to bigger, better things. Okay, for group one, you also have signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. All right. And if you notice here, there's feathers falling down. Um, she's sleeping, so maybe your dreams are becoming more vivid. Maybe you guys are dreaming about what it is that truly you guys want to do with your life. I feel like you guys are questioning um, just a lot of things that you guys are doing. Maybe you guys are, um, maybe you're working somewhere that you don't like it. Maybe you are in a relationship that, you know, it's kind of rocky. Either way, I feel like you guys are kind of in that, um, I don't really know what to do, right? Like, I feel like you guys are on kind of like an autopilot. And yet you guys are working yourself to death. And you guys are trying to figure out what it is that you guys want to do. What's making you happy. Um, and this is where the why comes in. And this appreciation and the deep knowing okay you guys know what it is that you want to do um but i feel like you guys are kind of afraid to take that leap of faith if that makes sense but you guys are going to kind of be pushed to do this okay so whatever that may be i feel like you guys are going to be pushed um and it's it's going to be for the better for you right like you may not see it now but it's going to be the better for you guys so july is is going to be a big month for you guys group one of changes um opportunities things coming in also things going out right things that don't serve our highest good so group one i really like this reading for you guys um but there's a lot of questions you know you're questioning a lot of things in your life i could feel it it's just like this i don't know which way to go you know do i go here do i go there um but you guys have the power to be able to do this 
and make this decision. And with the signs from heaven card, listen, I love these. This card in particular, especially with her sleeping. I feel like maybe you guys are having vivid dreams or you're going to start having vivid dreams. Maybe you astro travel. Um, and you guys are going to kind of have like this aha moment. Excuse me. That's how I feel about this. Okay. So that was group one. I do these readings kind of fast because, well... I have a short attention span as well as I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. Okay, so group two. We have the six of wands. We have the hangman upside down. We have the queen of pentacles upside down. Mm -hmm -hmm. We are out of balance. We are going to be taking a journey. We are going round and round. Ooh, take a leap of faith. Okay, so group two, right off the bat, angel of balance coming in for you guys. In July, you guys are going to be getting balanced out. You have the Leap of Faith card. Um, this is another... I just kind of love this whole deck. But the Leap of Faith is I'm ready to take um, a leap, angels. Thank you for doing it with me. Okay? So you guys are out of balance. You guys have been going round and round on this same journey. And I feel like you guys are getting sick and tired of it. Like over and over and over again, right? Or you're going to be traveling in July with the Journey card coming. Like you guys need a break. All right? I feel like... Um, with the six of wands coming into play here, um, this is saying, look, this is good news. Okay. So you guys have good news coming in, but then you have the hangman that's upside down, right? And the hangman upside down is, um, you're going to have some traitors in your life, right? I feel like you're going to have somebody that maybe could be backstabbing you or somebody that may be selfish or maybe you're selfish. Um, in this situation but you have the queen of pentacles that comes out upside down okay so you could be dealing with an earth sign all right um that could be backstabbing you or being a traitor in this situation all right and with the queen of pentacles this is greed okay this is financial gain and this is greed so it could be somebody in your life maybe that you are going to um, get out of your life that is just kind of like a greedy person and they're very selfish and you guys are just kind of sick and tired of it, right? But regardless of the situation that's at hand, um, once these people go out of your life, right? It could be a boss, you know, it could be a lover, friend, whatever. Once you get them out of your life, then your life is going to come back into balance, right? Then you're going to be able to take this journey, okay? And you don't have to keep on this circle, right round and round and round this path round and round and round we go right you have the strength to do this you have to take the leap of faith all right so somebody is really greedy in this relationship friendship business partner whatever it may be um and i feel like you know you guys are going to be weeding out those negative people in your life um so that way there you guys can kind of move on with your life and you know, again, to bigger, better things. I feel like July all around is going to be many changes, many um, balancing factors for everyone, okay? For everyone, there's going to be great that's coming in, and then it's going to be taken away like some, you know, not so good things, right? It's going to be gone. I feel like it's going to be a balancing month for a lot of us. Um, for me in particular, I feel like June has just been, it, it's been really draining energy for me. Um, and I have, you know, just been thinking about a lot of things as well. So July, I'm really hopeful that it is going to be that month where we, you know, just kind of come out and we do our thing. Like we make our decisions on what we want to do. And with group two, it's like, you don't want to make that round and round journey, the same shit over and over and over. Right. We want to come out on top. So for you guys, group two, it is time to take that leap of faith. So whatever it is, group two, that you guys have been thinking of, that you guys have been procrastinating on, um, it is time for you to, to do this right? Because I feel like it's going to benefit you guys really, really well. Um, you may be getting a new job. You may be going towards a new job. You may be just going on vacation, okay, to, you know, balance out your life because maybe you guys work too much and you guys are just stressed out, okay? So group two, I really liked that reading. All right, group three. <clears throat> Ooh, we have the wheel of fortune upside down we have the fool card we have z8 of wands upside down woman holding the coin we are all tied up oh yeah 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 okay group three Ooh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. i 
I feel like you guys, ugh, for some, I don't know if you guys listen, you guys are going to be in some situations where you're feeling like you're tied up. The woman holding the coin could mean that you um, have financial issues, okay? Or maybe you will be coming in to some money. In this particular reading, I feel like maybe you are going to have some financial issues. Maybe you are spending too much. You have the Eight of Wands that is upside down. And with the Eight of Wands being upside down, this is um, a lot of problems um, coming ahead, okay, to you guys in July. Um, I feel like this is a lot of frustrations, okay? There's delays and maybe traveling, and I feel like maybe that has to do financially um, because somebody was being the fool here and maybe spending too much money, right? So financial, I feel like maybe you weren't as smart with your money as you should have been or somebody spent too much money or whatever. Um, the Wheel of Fortune being upside down, this is bad luck. Okay, this is things that are out of your control. You're stuck in a rut. And I definitely feel like it is um, a financial thing, especially with the woman holding the coin. And we have delay on maybe projects or traveling or whatever it may be. And we are all tied up on this. We need to get back to this yin factor. You're feeling like chopped wood, that there's nothing you know you could do. You're frustrated. You have mad anxiety. So make sure that you guys look out for that. Um, especially, I just keep seeing like spending money too much, like you're spending that coin too much, okay? So you have the angel card of take a step back. Thank you, angels, for helping me to step back from what was not serving me, okay? So maybe um, you guys will go through, somebody will go through a breakup or something to that. Something is going to happen where it's like you're almost brought back down to reality as bad and maybe as hard it sounds kind of harsh but like i think that something is going to happen maybe you guys are just kind of like you know i'm gonna buy this or i'm gonna buy that or you know whatever whatever the case may be right somebody's being a fool here okay somebody's being a fool here in the situation and it's really putting not only a financial burden on you or it is going to okay and it's gonna be delayed of trips or whatever or somebody is just being reckless or they're just like hey I don't want to be with you anymore group three there's a lot going on here okay there is a lot going on here we have the chop wood we have the yin this I, I just feel like there's a lot of carelessness that's going on here in group three and I think that you guys are going to be kind of set back down to reality and you are going to be forced to take that step back to really look at what you've been doing or how you've been doing things or why you're in this situation that you're in. Um, and I think it's going to be a big learning curve for you guys in group three. Okay, I'm, I'm not loving the cards here, but I feel like this is something that needs to happen in order for you to move forward. Um, uh, yeah, I just feel like there's just a lot of carelessness, you know, with the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune upside down, the Eight of Wands upside down. There's going to be delays in things, and it's because somebody or you or whoever was careless um, with whatever you're doing. Maybe you're going to lose your job, or maybe you quit your job, um, or you're thinking about quitting your job, and then in July, you're just going to be like, yep, yeah, I'm done with it, and um, it's going to put you in kind of a rut. So be careful with that, Group 3, you know? Um, but I feel like it's going to be, if this, you aren't going to like it, obviously what's going to happen, but I feel like it's going to be really an eye opener for you guys so that it doesn't happen again. Like it's, it's that learning curve that you need, right? So it's going to be a, take a step back to reevaluate, um, your life and kind of how you got yourself, you know, there, right? So there you go. There was all the groups. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, hey, check out other readers that we have here. All right. There's a lot of good ones on there. Um, I enjoy, you know, reading for you guys. So comment below. Let me know what your guys' plans are for July. And um, let me know if you guys like, you know, this pick a card reading um, or if you have any other ideas for what kind of readings you would like me to do. As always, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. All right, and uh, hit that bell button for notifications of any new videos, all right? So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.